Well, hey team, Grant Hagen here with the Reality Capture Recap. Uh, we have a special edition for you today. Uh, the docked drone from DJI came out today, which felt like it needed its own uh, little special reality capture recap here. If I haven't met you yet, my name is Grant. Uh, welcome in if you're tuning in for the first time. If you're uh, new around here, welcome in. If you are not, uh, welcome back. Good to see you again. Uh, we have some really fun things that I want to just run down really quick uh, today. Uh, some huge things and some amazing announcements uh, with this new docked drone solution. Uh, you can see over here to my left hand side, honestly, I need to get a new one. There we go. Popping in a new little guy here for the new DJI Dock 2. This is super uh, exciting stuff in the reality capture space. And honestly, I was just like, man, let's do a little rundown. Let's do some fun stuff of uh, the specific announcement of what happened with DJI. Maybe a first hand look. I got some fun pictures of being able to see this in person. Uh, also just like how this will work within the drone deploy platform. I know many of you guys are curious about too. Uh, some more info where you can check out some more stuff if you're interested. And then finally some next steps uh, to take as a part of some other fun and exciting things coming up this week uh, specifically that you can turn into. So uh, I'm gonna dive right into it here and get into the DJI announcement. Uh, if you haven't seen, uh, I'll put a little uh, thumbnail or something up here to go back to the other video that we did in this. I think it was like back in November. Uh, which actually showed a lot of the stuff that we're going to show here. Uh, I'm just going to pull up my screen here and you're going to be able to see uh, the full announcement that's on DJI's website here. You can see uh, just the full video if you go and watch that trailer. Obviously, all the specs and some fun things around that too. Uh, but this is all the same. This is exactly what we saw back in November when they announced this overseas. Uh, much easier to read when it's in English as <laughs> then we don't have to translate the page. Uh, but what's exciting about this is that, yeah, it was really what we come to, uh, what we expected, uh, which is really exciting because honestly, uh, as we flip through all these details, uh, it's about what we had thought uh, when it came down to uh, really all the specs, all the hardware, all the stuff that we were wanting to see, especially in the new unit, the new drone specifically in here, which is the Matrice 3D, which is what we're really excited about from it being on a mapping perspective. Obviously, they have a thermal edition as well for more public safety and some other uh, kind of thermal inspections here. But everything is out and uh, you don't have to translate your page like we showed in that previous video. Uh, so all of it is here. You can go through all these details. There wasn't really anything that surprised me, uh, mainly because they announced this overseas and it has all the exact same specs. Uh, what we were really interested to talk about was really around the pricing, uh, which we'll get to kind of towards the end here from what I know or what I've heard uh, on the pricing front, because I don't think there's actually pricing listed on this page here. So uh, yeah, just again, this is kind of what we expected. It really exciting to see that it's now available on all of the markets. Uh, and again, I, I think the thing that we'll talk about here as I get down to the bottom, uh, which is kind of the uh, cloud API, which is really on the drone deploy team, what we got really excited about uh, and being able to uh, have access into, which is just what we wanted to uh, touch on today. So really nothing new here. Uh, again, this is what we talked about in that previous video in November. So go, uh, if you haven't seen that, I would encourage you to either uh, go check that out or just go to the DJI landing page. I think that's a really easy way to kind of see everything that's in there. Uh, but what I wanted to get to was really this kind of firsthand look. Uh, I had a chance to go and check this thing out uh, with some fun things that we're going to be announcing uh, of just a customer that we were working with here in the coming weeks. Uh, but what I was really encouraged by this uh, was really kind of the size and form factor. So let me again pull up uh, my screen here and kind of walk through this in a little bit more detail. But uh, what I was surprised, I mean, the size of this thing was uh, awesome. I mean, it, it you know, this is, a I think, a Mavic 2 that was sitting on top of it. I just was really encouraged. This this just looked like it fit on a job site, uh, which is what I was really excited to see uh, because the first one, uh, the dock one, it was just big. It was really, really big. Not only that, but heavy, uh, kind of cumbersome. It obviously fit a huge uh, drone in it uh, with the M30. Uh, and, and it just, I think when I saw this thing in person, I was like, man, this is amazing. You can see this little concrete pad that the team put it on. Uh, obviously, uh, DJI talked about it in a lot of the release uh, content of just how much easier this thing is to move, uh, how much easier it is to install, which I agree. I was really surprised at seeing this in person and just kind of uh, getting a firsthand look at it uh, when I got to see it uh, installed out on this job site. I was just really surprised. I was like, man, this is awesome. It just looked like it belonged there was kind of my like biggest thing that I uh, saw. Uh, when I was out actually experiencing this. And so it was just really cool. You know, I, we were starting to kind of tinker around with uh, opening it up, seeing all these things, kind of getting a firsthand look at it. But I was just really encouraged by it. Uh, I think you'll come to see when you get to see it in person uh, firsthand that it also just belongs on a job site. It just looks like it should be there. Obviously, all the weatherproofing and the IP55 ratings and all that stuff. It, it's really important because uh, it's obviously going to last on a job. 
But when you think about it from a jobs perspective, you know, hey, jobs are what, maybe a year to two year max, maybe three year if you're into these mega projects. Uh, and that's really what I think kind of what you'd expect to see here when you come in to do maintenance and different things like that. Uh, I just thought it was really cool. So I got to talk with some project teams uh, that were actually using it, which I'm really excited to release this video here soon. Uh, these guys were seeing it firsthand. It was just a really cool experience to hear their thoughts and feedback around actually having this like being used on a job. It was awesome. Uh, I just was really encouraged and really appreciate that team, uh, which again, we'll talk about here in some more details. My timer's up. I got to get to our next section here. But uh, my firsthand experience with it was just like, this is awesome. It belongs here. It's what we would come to expect. And uh, yeah, I just thought that was really cool. So the next thing uh, that I want to get into here is how is this thing actually going to work? I'm actually going to pull up a video uh, and we'll talk about this more in kind of the next steps and what you're going to see here in a little bit. Uh, but this was just, I think, really cool because I want to give you guys kind of some insight of what we're going to be talking about and uh, some future things coming up on Thursday this week uh, with really automation meets simplicity. That is truly what this is. How is this thing going to work within Dronepoi? Uh, I, I hope this isn't underwhelming because it is really, truly just like plugging and playing into the drone deploy experience, which I get really excited about because uh, whenever new hardware comes out or new software comes out, like you're always kind of in that mode of uh, realizing that you have to learn something new. This truly just taps in and plugs in and play uh, with drone deploy. So I'm going to pull up a video here and kind of show you what it is that this looks like. I'm going to hit play as this thing runs and I'll kind of talk over it, but you can run this thing from your iPad. You can launch this thing uh, from a mobile device if you want to. Down here in the bottom left, you're going to see you can select the new dock drone. That's going to be recognized here. Uh, it's going to go through its pre-flight checklist. You're off and running. Everything looks great. You're going to see that first person feed uh, from the drone specifically or from the dock specifically as it opens up here. You can see in that lower left hand corner. And then this thing is going to open and obviously it's going to activate and turn on uh, and it's going to go and take off. And that is truly it. Like that is exactly what uh, really this experience is going to look like. And obviously, uh, as it's taking off here, you can kind of check its surroundings, make sure everything is good to go. Uh, and it's going to go out and do the missions that you automatically uh, put into it uh, as a part of the drone deploy kind of experience. It's going to come back and land. You're going to be able to see all that data and all that content here within the drone deploy platform it's going to automatically upload that sd card days are gone you don't have to pull that out and re-upload it into drone deploy it's all going to do that in the back end uh, which i think is just really really cool and what i'm super excited about so in case you missed that really quick i'm just going to go back here really quickly and show kind of how that got there again because i got 40 seconds left on this timer here but truly it's just going to be a drop down uh, you're going to be able to select that uh, docked drone unit it's going to go through the normal process, just like you would if you're flying a normal uh, drone that wasn't in a dock. And this is the exact same experience. Again, really low lift here. Not, it's not. It's going to feel very similar, not a whole lot different uh, from the experience that you're having uh, today. And so I am just so excited to see this in so many of your guys' hands. One, because I just think this is really what we've been waiting for. This is really where automation meets simplicity. And I think it's just really exciting to kind of see it within the product and see how truly this is going to work uh, and it truly is uh, just going to simplify a lot of stuff in here and so uh, what i want to talk about next as we kind of round the corner and finish this thing up here is uh, really uh, what is kind of uh, more info like what can you find out and where can you go to find out more info around this we just released a new uh, web page to kind of find more info out about this i'm going to pull this up again uh, on my screen here so if you go to drone deploy you tap on that drop down here doc automation is where you're gonna find that page. Uh, and it really just goes through what this is going to look like within the Drone Deploy experience. And I think you'll be pretty encouraged. Uh, again, this is just, uh, we released a cool little hype video today to kind of show the end to end steps of what this is gonna look like. Uh, there's some really good things on here of really flipping through these different kind of things that I know a lot of people are just gonna be curious about of like, hey, what does accuracy look like? How am I gonna operate this thing? Uh, we tried to really make this web page as uh, comprehensive as possible, which security I know is a question for a lot of folks. We talk about that as well. Uh, but really what I just wanted to kind of point out and put in front of you guys is that go and check this out. This is gonna be a great resource for you as you're getting folks uh, excited about it on your team of what this is gonna look like and how this is gonna play out uh, out on your site. You can see kind of all the different use cases that we think on the Drone Deploy team, this is really going to play out to be. Uh, and again, it just goes through that whole step process of really what this looks like. And again, <laughs> I think you're going to find uh, this is truly what we mean by automation meets simplicity. I think this is what 
Uh, we're just, again, excited to get this in your guys' hands and what this is going to look like. Uh, but go ahead and check this webpage out. Um, uh, I'll put it in a link in the description so you can go kind of find out that and read through this on your own, which, uh, again, if I go all the way down to the bottom here, uh, you're going to see more things about security. And then, honestly, if you want to see this in action, uh, which is what I would encourage you guys to go and check out, uh, do fill this out. Like, let us know. We'd love to put this in front of you and obviously walk you through what that looks like if uh, this webpage it didn't really uh, answer some of the questions that you have. And so we just encourage you to go check that out. Uh, again, uh, I hope that that's helpful as a resource for you as you're checking into this. And then last but not least, what are your next steps? Uh, what are some things that you should consider uh, as a part of this? And I'll just flip over here. Lastly, to this last part here is on Thursday. That's really where we're going to have uh, our automation meet simplicity uh, kind of uh, really a session, more of a more those so than a webinar, I guess, is really just uh, these four folks or these three other folks uh, between Mike, Dave, and Andy uh, coming on here, they're really just going to talk about this. Like, what does this look like? Let's get into this in more in depth. Uh, and I think this is something that you guys are going to be really uh, excited about to just hear and answer your questions kind of firsthand as a part of this. And again, like we're hearing from you, like this is where the future is going. Uh, we did this as a part of our Reality Capture Live series of where we see kind of Doc Drones going uh, as kind of a state of uh, the report here or state of reality capture report that we put out a little bit ago. But I also wanted to point to you that uh, this will also be on display at our user conference here uh, coming up in October. So I know many of you are excited to also see it in person and we just encourage you uh, to go and check that out. Uh, if that's not on your horizon, pun intended there, uh, to go and check out and be a part of. So I hope this was quick and encouraging and exciting. I try to keep these again, a very, very quick two minute segments each. Uh, on the Reality Capture Recap. But I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you're as excited about this as we are. Uh, if you have any questions, please obviously let us know. We'd love to be able to answer those. We'll see you on Thursday uh, and we look forward to talking to you then. Take care.